What's up everybody, this is Lyle with New Hippie Barbecue. Today I'm going to be bringing you a family favorite, especially my son Mason likes this. We're going to be doing some green chili. So I'm going to bring you guys in so you can see what my ingredients are, and then we'll start hooking it up. The ingredients we're going to be using for this green chili is, I have some diced up pork. You can use pork chops and cube them, you can use pork butt, use whatever you want. You can use chicken, but we're using that. So we got that. I have two packs of this New Mexico uh, frozen green uh, chili. This happens to be hot. If you're buying the uh, canned green chilies, I suggest that you uh, start working with these. This pack was like $2.50, so a lot less. We're going to be using some roasted jalapenos, some carrots, a couple habaneros. I have some oregano, Mexican oregano. I have some flour white onions, you can use red if you want, garlic. The reason I have this here is I was just in my Mexican market. This five pack of garlic was 49 cents. You can't beat that anywhere. We're going to be using some cumin, some tomatoes, some cilantro, and I have a homemade, this isn't wine, I got a homemade uh, chicken stock in this bottle. Uh, we're going to also be seasoning it with salt to taste, and uh, that's pretty much it. So our next step is going to be to start kind of browning up this pork, so I'll meet you over at the stove. Our first step on this is going to be to start getting this pork browned up. This is kind of an optional step. I wouldn't say that this is absolutely necessary. What we need to do while uh, our pork is... Uh, browning up is we can start getting our roux together. Now some people will add the flour to the beef to create or to the pork to create the uh, thickness. I like making a separate roux for two reasons. One is I can adjust it a little bit better when it is time to thicken it up. And the second thing is I like to make roux and freeze it for later so I can kind of knock out a few birds with one stone. I have my pork kind of cooking and my roux going back there. I'm going to take one of these bags of peppers, only one, and I'm going to get it in my blender with my carrots, my habaneros, and my jalapenos. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. Oops, I forgot my garlic. I'm going to put about three and a half garlic cloves in there. And we're just going to blend this up. Okay, so this stuff is blended up. Uh, this is probably a little bit more than what we're going to need. What I'm going to do in the description is I'm going to leave a recipe for two quarts of this green chili. I made a little bit more of this than I needed just because this is something that I freeze and use later. So we're done with that. The meat's browning. The roux's about done. I'll be seeing you over the stove in a few minutes. This pork has got browned up. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding some onions. Kind of get those mixed in there. And that's going to be it for now. Cook this down a bit. The onions are translucent. I'm going to go ahead and add my, uh, the blended, the blended green chilies, habaneros, uh, jalapenos, garlic, all that. I'm going to add that in, and we're going to come back and add our homemade chicken stock. You can use chicken bouillon, you could use whatever you want. We may need to add a little bit of water to that. I haven't added anything uh, as far as seasoning to this yet, so we're about to get to that. I'm going to throw in my tomatoes now.
and I'm going to add a little bit of salt, my cumin, my oregano, and then I'm just going to let this cook down for probably a good hour. I'm not going to add my cilantro till we get to like our last 30 minutes of cooking on this. I really want this to have a chance to blend together. I was sitting there doing all that talking. I forgot that I still needed to add my other bag of green chili. I thought that looked a little thin. So now we're going to cook that for about an hour and finish it up. Sorry about that. Here's about where we're at after about an hour and looks like everything's kind of coming together. I'm going to go ahead and add my cilantro to this and get it stirred in and let it go for probably another 30 minutes or so. I need to time this with the family getting home and everything. So I'm thinking another 30, 45 minutes and then we'll add our roux and then it's going to be a done deal. Tasted this, everything tastes fine. Now we just need to thicken it up a little bit. I have my little roux here. And I'm just going to stir some in until we get to the thickness that I'm looking for. And I have a little bit of room to add some more water so I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit more. That should be enough. We'll let this kind of cook for about another 15-20 minutes just to make sure it doesn't get overly thick or I need to make any other adjustments and then we will taste this it. The finished product right here. Here's kind of our consistency. Anyway, I'm going to pull this back and me and Mason are going to go ahead and take a taste the of this. Last step is time for me and Big Head Flintstone over here to go ahead and dig into this and see what's up. That is amazing. I would have personally made it a little bit hotter. I would have added about two more, two more habaneros to that, but as far as flavors on point, but I am making a big batch for some uh, turkey enchiladas, and I'm gonna be making some, uh, using some leftover turkey on, and I'm gonna be giving it to my sister, and she can't take out food. So that's why I went a little milder on this. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Ooh, this is real, real good.